For 37 years, Horton Smith served the PGA of America, including a term as the association's 10th president. Back in 1934, he was the champion of a tournament which one year later would become the Masters and later a member of the World Golf Hall of Fame. Smith made his biggest impact, however, in contributing to the improvement of professional education. Thus, the Horton Smith Award, which was first presented in 1965, honors those PGA professionals who have upheld the tradition of elevating the educational standards of their fellow professionals. Who, you might ask, is our recipient of the 2012 Horton Smith Award? Let's head to the Metropolitan PGA section to learn more about Carl Alexander. He's the complete package. He's been one of the top 10 players in the med section for the last 10 years. He's so passionate about what he does. Great teacher. That's why I have 37 things on my checklist, <laughs> and that's the backswing. How he lends itself to the education side of things, I think, is unparalleled. <laughs> so I appreciate this award's that. about education. You've got the right man. <laughs> Carl Alexander's exposure to the game began with meeting some of the game's greatest figures, thanks to his dad, Jules, a world-renowned photographer and by growing up in a house bordering the range at Westchester Country Club. Carl started in my junior clinics and he had that enthusiasm and he had this gift of his golf swing and he was so much fun to be around. And we used to hit hundreds of balls and just go for eight, nine hours a day. So it wasn't uncommon. So, you know, I think started a long time ago for Carl, at least hard work ethic and passion, you know, for his desire. Yeah, he won the junior and he won the club championship twice. And he won eight and seven for the guy who had won 14 club championships. That's pretty good. Inspired by his father's iconic golf photos, Carl has always emulated Ben Hogan. But throughout his career as a PGA professional, Carl has embodied the spirit of Horton Smith. Carl came to the Grand Cypress Academy around 1997, very motivated to learn and get better and he was one that would want to pass on that information to his students and fellow professionals. The PGA Director of Golf at the Golf Club of Purchase, Carl's passion for mentoring and educating can be felt throughout the Metropolitan PGA. There are many that aspire to be great and the best they can be, and Carl's that perfect role model. He helps everybody. How's he doing? Whether it's your game he's working on, whether it's our staff, whether it's fellow professionals from even around the corner, uh, you know, he's giving lessons to them or helping them with PGA books. Anything, he is always there. He's energetic, he's sincere, and he's passionate. He takes his commitment to excellent here at work and puts that into the section as well. Be ready to share your ideas, to think, and to be challenged. I introduce you to Dr. Paul Shem. He's met a lot of people, a lot of great names, and he's willing to bring those great names into the Met section and share their knowledge with the rest of us. And he has really used those relationships to our advantage and helped us all become better professionals. We took a chance on some programs. We did a program with Stuart Levine, former CEO of Dale Carnegie, that was mind-numbing in the fact that it opened our eyes to not only governance, but survey use and the ability to relate to today's business people. He put together what's called the performance dashboard, where every day you sit down and you, and you review your dashboard. You have ideas of where you want to get to and where you want your business to be, and you have to review it each day. I think you're going to find a lot of good stuff in here. When the PGA of America decided to take it to a national level, that was great because you knew then that the program that you put together with a team of guys really had something to it. Understanding sort of the roots and the history of the game, you know, he sort of always holds that very close to uh, himself and, and I think that comes out in a lot of the things that he puts together on a sectional level and, and from an education perspective. It's his passion and I believe that, you know, he's not really trying to get an award. He's just doing what he loves to do. Nicely done. My mother and father told me many years ago, uh, you know, he who loves his job never works a day in his life. Oh, that's it's done. Good. Come on. Oh. oh, you made it. PGA professionals have 
a job bigger than just teaching you how to hit the ball, the right path, the right speed, the right club face angle. The whole education process is, is critically important. That's Carl's you know, forte. I mean, he's, he's a great teacher of many aspects of the game of golf. His skill set is there, his personality is there, his dedication to the game is there and the way he focuses on people and developing people is there. But we're as proud as we can be, and he deserves this award. And this brings back such great memories. Can't thank you enough for moving <laughs> to the Westchester Country Club and giving me an introduction to golf here. My pleasure. Yeah, really nice. Now, I live in the Mets section, and I've been a part of some of the educational forums that Carl has put together there, and they have been truly remarkable and impressive. You couldn't have chosen more wisely. The 2012 Horton Smith Award recipient, PGA professional, Carl Alexander. Wow, what a video. Uh, pretty impressive, and uh, Lowell Thaler and your crew, great job. And Jimmy Roberts, who I've known for so long, thank you so much for, uh, what a great introduction. Uh, good evening to everybody here. You know, I've sat in this audience many times through the years, watching my friends and my colleagues receive their awards, and it truly is an honor to be a part of this group. You know, Horton Smith believed in growing the game through educating its professionals. He was a visionary who created programs with the game and the future of the game in mind. I can only hope that the programs that I've helped to create can do the same. I'm here because professionals like Jim McLean, Fred Griffin, and Phil Rogers took the time to train me. Jim taught the junior programs at Westchester Country Club that really got me inspired into golf. And Phil, Phil Rogers would bring his lunch to the range at Grand Cypress. He'd watch us hit balls. He'd uh, help us with our games, and he'd tell us stories from the PJ Tour. The lessons were unbelievable and the stories were priceless. Fred Griffin, he, he taught us how to teach golf and he taught us how to look at the game of golf as a business. He, uh, he'd come out and he'd play some holes with us. He'd win a few skins and then he'd hold a staff meeting with equal expertise, really a true professional. And I'm here because people like Tommy DeBellis showed me how to work at a private golf club and Ken Natori gave me a shot to run my own. Ken hired me for my first head professional job. And, uh, you know, it was something else to start a job, start a club from scratch. We hired a staff and uh, built all the programs right from the beginning. And, you know, that's when what I learned from Grand Cypress and from Pine Hollow Country Club and from Westchester Country Club and from my parents, everything came together at that moment, opening a new club. Fortunately, with fellow professionals, Rob LeBritz and Debbie Doniger, who you saw in the video, we, we built a first-class golf operation with teaching, playing, and member tournaments. Really impressive. And uh, I'm here because at Purchase, I've learned so much from my members, people like John Mack, Michael Rankowitz, Mayor Bloomberg, and Terry Lundgren. To have the support of my board and the members is essential to my success. And I'm here because of the outstanding staff that has helped make Purchase such a great club. Professionals like Sally Cardwell and Kirk Satterfield and Karen Epstein, our general manager, who came down and surprised me today by being here. Um, you can see from the video, we, we've got an impressive place and uh, we all work really hard together to make purchase a unique experience. As you know, my father's been a photographer for over 60 years. He used to take me on jobs and he put me to work when I was very, very young. I've learned so much about golf and life, being on the golf course with my dad and my brother. My memories of being inside the ropes at PJ Tour events, at the Ryder Cup, at PJ Championships will forever shape my life and my career. Now, my mom's not much of a golfer. She's rarely mentioned in any of the articles on my golf career, even though she drove me to every junior golf tournament and therefore was my first mental golf coach and, of course, is my biggest fan. Mom and Dad, I know you're out there. I can't see you, but you're out there. <laughs> Thank you for all you've done. You gave Paul and me a wonderful childhood and the tools needed to be successful in this world. And you introduced us to this wonderful game of golf. 
Paul, you've been a great friend and brother. I cherish the days we used to go round and round the little nine, playing over and over, playing in the club championship, and of course winning the team championship. Great memories. And there are so many other people who have helped me through the years. People like Charlie Robson, executive director of the Met section. John Kennedy from Westchester, been a great help. Jack Druga, who helped me get into the, the, the operations at the Mets section. Uh, Michael Breed, a good friend and our teacher of the year. Very impressive how he's followed his dream. John Hines, who helped me with the educational programs. Corey Muller, Barry Hyde, and of course the teams at Titleist and Peter Millar. But I certainly hope that all the members of the Metropolitan section know that they've had a hand in on this award. You all set a very high standard in every aspect of the golf business, and I certainly wouldn't be here without the help from many of you. It, it's no secret that being a member of the PGA is really important to me. I've learned so much from so many just from being involved. The exposure I've had to our industry leaders has been amazing and has allowed me to continue to learn and improve. My goal as education chairman has always been to provide our members with interesting and relevant subjects presented by the game's best known professionals. But the reality is I really wouldn't be here without the love and support from my partner, my wife, and my best friend. And we make a great team. We have a wonderful family, and I'm so proud of you and the boys. I would not have set these goals if not for the desire to set a great example for Jack and Will and to be the husband you deserve. It's hard to believe it all started right here in Orlando, Florida many years ago. We just had our 18-year uh, anniversary on Monday, and of course I missed it because I was here for the Teaching and Coaching Summit. <laughs> uh, again, I'm really honored to receive this award. Congratulations to all the other award winners and finalists, and I really thank the PGA Awards Committee. Thank you. Thank you.